Roadcaster Pro 2. Roadcaster <laughs> 1, you can't fuck up. It's all analog. But it's all uh, great. when you add in software to a... Uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. Wait, so the Roadcaster is, a, is digital instead of... Everything's like built in. A lot of stuff like routing. Routing is the main issue, but it's also the, the best thing about the Roadcaster Pro 2. Because you can route your sound to anything. So I feel like we routed this somehow to USB 1. <laughs> Ah, so, gotcha. Anyway, I'm not diving down in there. But speaking of Lord of the Rings, Post Malone has made some guy literally like his dreams come true, and it says it here in a tweet. Brooke Trafton, what a he, name! He just, I think he just made this Twitter account just to post this. Yeah, it doesn't even have like an icon. Nothing. Or yeah, it's just a letter B. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, he he was the one lucky winner or the one lucky person in the entire world to open up a single one-of-one one Magic the Gathering card based on the Lord of the Rings series, and he got the one ring. The one true ring. The it's, one ring to rule them all. It's so cool. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I spent like 50 bucks on a... Uh, did you buy like the big boy pack? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like $50. On I'm, I've, I've been, I've been obsessed with Magic since, like, I think... Right when I graduated high school back in 20... I wouldn't have said that out loud. No, I, I love Magic. Uh... <laughs> But it's kind of the reason why I'm even here today, <laughs> like in in the in the building. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I, I I love magic, and they recently started doing this this thing. I think you were you were asking uh, earlier, like like oh, does magic do this normally? Um. Not like this is a really new thing. I think when they first started doing like the the major IP crossovers with Magic the Gathering, I think the first one was Godzilla. So you know, no way. You know me. I'm a I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Yeah. And that was like the one set that I was like. Okay, your Call of Duty skin. Yeah, yeah, my Call of Duty skin. From Dude, it's just so cool that it's Post Malone, bro. This guy is so jolly. He might not, I mean, I'm not holding it past him. He plays video games. He's a nerd. But he mm -hmm. might not even play Magic the Gathering. No, it's kind of like the Logan Paul thing. No, well, so so I'm actually very not surprised that Post Malone bought it. He's a huge Magic the Gathering. Is he? Okay. Yeah, huge. And uh, I watched this uh, podcast uh, called The Command Zone, mm. where they play a specific form of commander or a specific form of magic called commander where every card is like you can only have one copy of every card in the entire deck yeah you have to have a hundred of them and you even have like this uh one card that like command like commands your deck Dang. essentially Man, and uh hey oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah he's actually like a regular on the show like he plays that's so magic sick. like all the time like all the time he's really big in the magic community Bro, Post Malone is actually awesome. Yeah, like he's I would a dope. love. Like when people say, like, "Oh, who do you want to meet?" Like, dude, if I met Adam Driver, who I think is the best, uh, you know, actor <laughs> in the world, I would like. I wouldn't like have weird fan thing. I just don't think I would like be able to talk you, you, to the guy. You'll just be on his knee, on your knees, maybe. Yeah, but I would be able to talk to him like I would be able to talk to Post. You know what I mean? Like, hey, bro, like, what games are you playing now? What bro, are you addicted to? Like, Post Malone is the one celebrity that I feel like any kind of excitement that you have. <laughs> He yeah. will replicate that excitement. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I think... Match your vibe. I think he kind of does match your vibe, bro. You'd just be like playing games, smoking weed, hanging out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly? Honest and he'd be like, yo, pass it around. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, yeah, Post Malone is a <clears throat> dope dude. And uh, yeah, kind of crazy. And congrats to the dude who yeah. Post Malone bought this card from. Um, yeah. No, and really he literally dope. says, this is my dream come true. Meeting Post Malone and him buying the one ring card from me is literally a moment straight out of a fairy tale. Like. That changes his life. It's like two million and something, like two yeah, point it's, something. It's million. literally like winning the golden ticket from yeah. Willy Wonka. Like <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh, you, this is this is uh, I forgot the name of the character, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Oh yeah, Charlie. Charlie Bucket, dude. Yeah, F, he's Charlie F Bucket. Charlie's grandpa. That guy's a bully, bro. If you ever watched that movie, and that guy is a bully. <laughs> he like screws up Charlie's whole thing. Like, yeah, just drink this. Let's float in the air. Like he does everything to like screw Charlie. Bro, over. he was lazy in bed like for I don't know like Hops thirty up. years. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> Well, I'm going I back to the golden ticket. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Gramps. <laughs> Clicking his ankles in the middle of the air. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, bro. I'm someone, tired of this, Grandpa. Someone, someone take that out of context. Clip it and ship it. But anyway, <laughs> so send it to my grandpa. <laughs> you, grandpa. <laughs> uh, welcome to h and Podcast. My name is Joel, and today I am sat here with our beautiful Steven. Uh, AK Digital Pencil, if you ever want to check him out on Instagram. Today is a wild, uh, it's, we're, we're getting better on the podcast, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think we so. have so many segments. As you can tell, we're doing G Fuel. Uh, we're going to taste test a bunch of G Fuel, see which one we love the best. Uh, I went to Micro Center, spent about $40 on this. Sh 
So hopefully we find one that's actually tasty. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm a little scared. I'm a little nervous. super scared. I, I just came back from the doctor. My doctor I'm literally. I'm too. We're all dying. My, my, well, my doctor literally told me, you, you got to avoid the caffeine. You got to avoid the caffeine. Shut up. And I'm like, I'm about to go do a challenge Chat. this afternoon. Uh, I'm drinking like 12 bottles of, <laughs> of G Fuel. And my doctor's like, well. Good luck. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that meme. What is, what's the meme where the guy like floats away? Oh, yeah. Like the piece. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Uh, That's me. I also do want to add one thing to the, the Lord of the Rings thing. I'll just cut it in. But, okay, cool. Uh, let us know down in the comments. Did you buy a pack and try to get the one ring? Uh, I know it's embarrassing to say that you spent money on this, but. Why is it's it not, embarrassing? It's not, but, okay, why is it? This look, is why it's embarrassing It's okay. Me. You're in a safe space. If you're a nerd and you're, and you're in love with like. Right. The most nerdiest thing. You're in a safe place at Hit Network Gaming. That is 100% true. But how many of you <clears throat> bought. Admit that you're buying magic. Bought cards? a magic pack. When you damn well know you ain't playing no magic, you know what I mean. I know the, I'm not. I know I'm not playing. So I I used to play a lot. I I love. I used to go to tournaments. I mean, shit. I, I used to go to like. I used to travel to like other states to go to like these giant get together really? tournaments. That's yeah, that, like Grand Prix, what they used to call it. Um, I think now they're called Magic Fest, which is so. But uh, yeah, like me and a bunch of buddies used to like do road trip. Like first yeah. time I came to Atlanta was to to go to a Grand Prix. I'm so sorry. So like. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, uh, no, nah, dude, I, hey, magic is the game. I magic is the game. In high school, I had a green deck. I had to go to the doctor, check it out. It's fine, but I did have a green <laughs> deck. <laughs> Everything's okay. I'm married now, I have kids, but, uh, it hasn't fallen off. I do, I did play. And so, but knowingly, I just bought it as like a lottery ticket. I, mm -hmm. I love Lord of the Rings, so it's kind of cool to see, you know, who I get. Oh, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, we have a lot in store. We have two segments that we added that are pretty fun. We have H and G trials in a little bit, and of course, we're gonna try all the G fuel. So stay tuned. Yeah, we're 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 gonna do the podcast every week with some topics, uh, and you guys are more than welcome to come uh, to comment down below if you want to be part of the conversation or even join us on Discord. We're there every night. Join the Discord. And uh, yeah, today's topic is the the one game, <laughs> the one game that you just hate to love. That you just love to hate. So what is the game that you... So we have a skit that we filmed today or yesterday. Uh -huh. And then the, the short should be going out today. But basically, it's like me and Bailey angry at the game that we play every single day. We're like, F this game. If, it's so stupid. Why am I playing it? If you're a fan of H&G and you watch Joel stream every single day, you know this is a <laughs> super close topic to his heart. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts to talk about. But, you know, those games like Fortnite, Call of Duty, those big ones, League of Legends, that make you so toxic and that make you hate the game, but you come back. You run coming. You, you can't Bro. wait to play again. You leave the house like that thing. You point at your Xbox like, I'm going to play you later. <laughs> like that, you know, you get that yeah. feeling. And... Then you play a, a, a game for the first time, right? Like she's playing, uh, Hannah's playing Farlight 86, I think it's called right now. Excuse and she's me. like, this game's so, so fun. Guarantee she never plays it again. <laughs> but she's going to talk so many good things about it. That, she's going to be like, wow. That's just adult fun. life, though. Like we, we try games. We're like, okay, cool. Like uh, one game that comes to mind for me is uh, Cult of the Lamb, just like oh. pretty recently. Like a, a, amazing game. I played it for, for two days straight, like nonstop. Yeah. And haven't picked it up since that weekend. Me either. It's it's such a good game that, though. That is a hard game to get back into though, because you rem remember your like your cult, your little cult, yeah. And so like when you come back in, you're like, who's this guy? Like, right. <laughs> but when you were playing, that you know, I played for a couple of days straight, and uh, Nikki even tried to get back into it, but it's it's kind of hard to get back into. Yeah, you got to start a whole new game over, and everything. Yeah, I, I th those kind of games, I, I I hate like, I don't know, like I, of course, like we're we're adults, we're not gonna have the time to play any of these games. But yeah, it, it's just so frustrating to me to like look at my Steam library, seeing all those games that I only like played like maybe two, three hours of and never touched again. I know they're fun. I know they're fun. You love them. Love them. You'll talk about how much yes. you love them, but you will play the game that you fucking hate. Yes. And, and I'll, yeah, I'll do that instead. <laughs> yeah. So chat, oh, leave, leave a chat, leave a comment. He's such a streamer, isn't he? Yeah. You're such a streamer. <laughs> but uh, please leave a comment down below. What is your game that you love and hate? Love to play, but hate to play. There is one game that comes to mind when you ask me this question, and I, I haven't mentioned it. Uh, Super Smash Brothers. Oh, dude. Dude, I, every Super Smash, like, every time I play that game, I'm like, dude, I, I need to be the best. Like, I need, to be get, I need to get good. And then I play someone from, like, The Office, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm trash. I'm terrible. What is, what is this? Like, I freaking hate this game. The controls are terrible. But then I, 
still get sucked into it. Yeah. I don't know what it is. My family always gets a reunion house in the mountains in California. And so, like, for every Christmas, we go up there. Can and I come? my cousin, who has played Melee his entire life, every single one he's had, and he plays it religiously. Oh my God. So when we go up there... <laughs> Everyone tries to just gang up on this kid and he just beats the shit out of us. And it's just like, it's like not fun. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, you're a bully. Like yeah. we're like yelling at him and he's standing on the table. Yeah. It's like, I win, bitches. <laughs> like it's, it gets heated, dude. It's Every, so funny. Everyone always has that one friend that they're really good at Smash Brothers or really good at Mario Kart, right? Or Rocket League, or Rocket Noah. League. You f- <laughs> <laughs> and everyone just gangs up on, on them. I, I, I've never experienced that because I'm, I'm terrible. Dude, we did like 5v1 in Rocket League against Noah and he won. It's like not fun. <laughs> no, no when way. When Noah dude. comes in, we just are like, all right, that's the guy. We we did that. That's insane, dude. Yeah, well, sad. yeah, some people are born with skills. I don't know. I'm just kidding. No, we love you. Please come back. <laughs> <laughs> we like kicked him out. <laughs> Get away. You're banned from the Discord. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yes, definitely let us know uh, what what is your game that you will love to hate. And then mm-hmm. also, what is a game that you've played that you you showed? Like, you were like, man, this game's so fun. Remnant, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this game's amazing. I love it. You can it. talk a little bit about that, too. And then oh you kind of maybe never play it again. I'm mm-hmm. playing Remnant 2 tomorrow, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. John's going to join me, and it's going to be so fun. There's not, not much spoilers, but I, I got opinions. If you want to see more of my opinions, you can check out our podcast. Last week, I talked a little bit about it. Yeah, you kind of craft on the game a little bit yeah i literally Too only much. said negative <laughs> i only said negative no I, I really thought that i really think the game is good i played it even more after i filmed that podcast and and it's great and i like uh but you said that it takes so many good things from other games yes. but doesn't know how to make them good better <laughs> Yeah, that which is so true. That's not true. It's so true. That is not it's so true. true. I played Alan Wake today, bro, and I couldn't roll. I couldn't slide, <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck, Remnant!" I love well, Remnant. Remnant. Remnant just grabs like, like, like again. It just grabs these different things. Like, I I always get weary when a game's like, yeah, it's like Gears of War mixed with, oh, uh, true. yeah, uh, you're right. Last of Us mixed with this. I'm like, so, like if you're just gonna play the like, just, just play those games. Yeah. Play Gears of War. Play The Last of Us. Like, why why are we like Frankensteining video games it's a here. Good game. It's good. It it grabs the it grabs the best parts from these games. But it just doesn't it doesn't make it better. It doesn't make it unique. So I didn't get a rebuttal this yet, yeah. last podcast. Yeah. Remnant one came out and it was good. I played it. I played it here with John. I think mm-hmm. I don't remember who it was. Uh, oh wait, on, on on that note, Remnant Two is my the only Remnant game I've played. Right. Yeah, but so I'm just saying, just Remnant FYI. One came out and they fixed and they made it so much better. So like I get where you're saying, and the procedurally generated thing is not real. What's not? It procedurally generates which one you're on next, but it there's only I think so many. But like you, you tackle you tackle each level differently. Totally. And like the rooms are made up. It's it's uh my my friend my friend explained it really well. It's basically they they make these tiles, right? And these tiles are the different levels that you're playing. The tiles are rearranged in different orders. Exactly. But you like when you're on a mission that I haven't gotten to yet. I will eventually get to that mission. Right, right. So the mission inside isn't different. Right. That's what I thought it was. I was like, "Damn, bro." No, no. But the the way the way you approach, like, right. I'm I'm talking about like just straight up level design. Like, there isn't much of a because it's all stacked up like that. There isn't creative ways to like, um, loop around, create create a different map, or even like have you know freaking cover. Yeah. Like that. That's one thing that the game just doesn't have is cover. Like you, you're shooting around and then there's no indicator. That someone's shooting from behind you, like I, I still say it's a good game. It's a good game. I think everyone should play it. Like I, like the, the gameplay is fun. It feels great. The enemy, the enemy variation is fun. Um, even going to the different worlds and seeing like the different kind of, uh, looking levels. Like you'll have like a bloodborne looking. Oh, they're all different. Like like um, uh, Victorian era, uh, place. Or you're like in this exoplanet like yeah. space battle, whatever. Like. It, it, it's really cool environments and I, I really feel like the gameplay is fun but man there, there's just some instances where it just doesn't like it just falls a little too short for me I, I don't think this is a 9 out of 10 game or a 10 out of 10 game at all question at all did you play by yourself I no I, I played well I played one by myself and two with some some of my friends I have friends too I do have friends <laughs> yeah, I have friends outside of here so you were saying that uh like Gears of War and Last of Us are like, you know, meshed in these games. And then you literally just said Remnant 2. There's no cover. <laughs> Last of Us and Gears of War is just all I think about is them against well, the wall. I, like. I guess I guess the way I'm thinking of is like like the way you're rolling around, which makes no sense. True, like they're true. like 
whatever. Uh, that, I that's, love it. That's another. That's I another complaint it. for me. It's great. I love the mechanic, but they're they're <clears> not <throat> implementing it well with like good iframes. Plus, you're getting bombarded with a bunch of enemies. I don't know. Maybe I do hate this game. <laughs> I think you do. I think I just don't like this Have game. Have you played it since you talked crap yeah, about yeah, it? Yeah. I played it all last weekend. Like, it was like the only <laughs> game I played. No, because I'm not. Like, even if I think the game is mediocre, it doesn't mean I'm not going to play it because it's still fun. So if you still, have a kid and you hate it, you'll still love it. Yeah, I'm that kind of person. You'll still take care of it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You just talk shit about it. Yeah. I talk it. shit about my dog all the time and I love that little. You got to feed him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I, for one, like, I'm having fun. I know I can only really talk about the negatives, but that's all I can, like, really focus on. There's so many other things about the game that's really good, like the storylines. I think the voice act, it's the best voice acting game it's ever. It's really good. Like, the, really like good. even, even like, your character yourself, like, I feel so much more immersed into this just because of the voice acting. Voice acting, top notch. But So he likes it again. <laughs> I, I like it again. There are, good and, there are good and bad things. I just don't think it's a perfect game. Like, people are comparing this to, like, like, yeah, this is game of the year, like, contender or whatever. I'm like, dude, last, like, not last week, but uh, Tears of the Kingdom came out this year. It is not better than Tears of the Kingdom. It is not better than, than Resident Evil it's 4. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Actually, this is coming out Saturday. Uh, if you guys want to check out, me and John played Thursday, so tomorrow we'll be playing Remnant 2. Uh, and he is an Xbox lover, and he sent me uh, actually a text this morning mm -hmm. saying that Xbox has finally worked with Discord. So they've had Discord on for a little bit. But they finally worked it out, so now you can stream games to your Discord from your Xbox. So you can stream your Xbox games, games that you're playing right now, and you can yeah. stream it to your buddies on Discord, yeah. no matter what. Like, even if your buddy's on... I think so, yeah, yeah. So basically, like, PC has been able to do this forever. I'm not sure if PlayStation has done they this do not, They do not, dude. That's, that's exactly what I was going to ask. Like, do you think they plus one for Xbox on the, play, on the console war? Because sure. I, I really think this is a huge step. Yeah, like it is. I think Discord is gonna be the gamer hub if it if it's not is. already. It is. It is. And Dude, like people, old people know about Discord. Right. Like it. It's like it's gonna be like your online personality. It's not gonna be the Twitter. It's not gonna be the Facebook. It's gonna be the Discord where you're. Community. I don't know about that. Eventually, maybe. I think eventually. I don't know. Like the fact that you can have different different groups and communities that are ran through Discord, and there's even things that you can layer on top of Discord itself that. Yeah. Like you can even gamify it and stuff. I'm really excited for the future of Discord. There's a lot. And the fact that you can stream your Xbox straight to Discord so that your buddies in whatever country, no matter what platform they're on, pretty cool. can just watch it. That's amazing. Xbox is getting smarter. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <coughs> we'll see. Maybe once this Activision deal actually. <laughs> so right now, would you buy an Xbox, the next gen, or a P PlayStation? A P. A P, a P, a P, a P. Um, would you buy a PlayStation or would you buy the next Xbox? Or what? Based I just on what's happened so far, like on, with the, honestly, the third option PC. I don't know. It's sure, but if that's not an option, if say you only have okay, the consoles, and, I probably would still stick with PlayStation. Yep. the The main reason is just because of the, the 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 games for me are, are just better. Like for for me at least, they're not like the 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 craziest games that you can play forever. Like I'm I'm a huge single player game. PlayStation's like first party studios are just like really diving headfirst into story mode games. Killer. Yeah, like single player games. Bro, so Armored Core comes out very soon. Very soon. I can't wait. I'm so I've excited. never played it and I can't wait. I've never played why. any of the other games, but From Software is probably my favorite developer. I think I said this in the last podcast of all time. And I, anything they touch is. Bro, think about. Okay, so you know how like when you play any uh, From Software game that's like Souls and stuff. You like get to a boss and it's just like this menacing monster. Like check out Hannah's uh, short, but like this <laughs> menacing monster that stands over you. Think about like that from a mech standpoint. It's, it's this freaking huge mech coming up. Think about like, it. I've been, I've been fantasizing about this since like the first. Like I love the setting. I love the 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 medieval like knights, magic, dragons, and D and D things. setting of of Dark Souls. And all. But I, like something about like. I love like cyberpunk aesthetic, like robot futuristic stuff. So I love that this is like a complete departure from that. So yeah, I'm super excited for the epic. So I'm trying to think. Uh, Lies of P comes out soon. Mm -hmm. You're excited for it? I'm so excited for that. To play the yeah. demo? I have. Yeah. It's so good. It's really good. Now, here's my one thing. I, I don't know if there, I can think of a game like this, cyberpunk a little bit, but it's not really soulsy. I want a like. That type, like cyberpunk, like there, there Neo is, Tokyo world. So there is a, sort of. It's called um. 
name of the game. It's on my Steam library. But it's basically like a Souls-like game where it's, it's like... first person? No, it's third person. Like a third person, like, Souls-like game. Like, like tried and true Souls-like. There's even a sequel for this game, too. I, for, I forgot the name of it. Um, and it, it did pretty well. It just didn't have, like... It was like a smaller team to mm. make it and stuff. But it's essentially, like, a Dark Souls. Like, you're in, like, this little mech suit. Oh, that's cool. Like, like like a like exo suit or whatever and you're constantly like upgrading your mexo suit and getting like different weapons and stuff and you even have like the bonfires that you can like rest. that's sick yeah that's sick yeah like i would love something like that um even like metal gear rising i think of like it has not nothing to do with really souls but it's kind of like that third person running around slashing shit up love it dude. it's so cool oh the surge it's called the surge um there's there's a sequel called the surge 2 and it's it's straight up it's straight up just like I'll like, have to try like it. Robot-y, uh Dark Souls. Maybe I'll try it on stream. Mm-hmm. By the way, check out our streams, guys. We stream every single weekday, eleven a.m. to two p.m. Eastern time, uh, and we have fun, man. We play a lot of games, and also let us know what kind of games you want us to play too. Yeah. If if uh, you're playing something that's super fun, like not a lot of people know about it, let us know, and maybe the word can spread. Or goofy and still TOS friendly. <laughs> or if you have your own game too, if you if anybody out in the audience has like their own game and wants us to try it out, love to. We'll shill the hell out of you. Uh, <laughs> let's get to our final topic, and it's really not a topic; it's a segment. No, we have another segment. H and G trials. Oh yeah, you know what? Yes, let's cut to that real quick. Yes, H and G trials, guys. If you haven't checked it out, watch Hannah in the last podcast. We had, I'm promise we had we, a screw up. I promise we don't forget about Bailey at the show. I'm no, sorry. yeah, we did forget about you. Uh, we did have a screw up where I, I said on the podcast she needs to fight a boss for like 20, 20 minutes to an hour. Good luck, pretty much. Uh, she started the game right all, like right away, which I think is still a good challenge because Hannah's never touched any of these games before. Yeah, I still think it's a good challenge at least for her, but we really should have up. Bro, a little I, bit. I love when she starts the 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 thing, the creator, and she's like, "This is gonna be fun. I want to be this guy." And then it's just like him butt naked, <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Oh." Uh, but anyway, when that first uh, actual like boss comes and just beats the hell out of her, that is so funny. It's also on one of our shorts if you want to check it out. Yeah. So this guy over here came up with an awesome challenge, an awesome trial of Bailey playing Fall Guys with his controller upside down and seeing if he can get the dub. I can't get the dub upside down, up inside up, out. Yeah, like yeah. there's no way. Even yeah. on PC when they're all on Switch. I got an Audi, not an any. <laughs> you heard it here first, boys. <laughs> but anyway. anyway, good luck, Bailey. We'll see if you can beat Fall Guys with the controller upside down. Welcome to H and G Trials. My name is Bailey. I was called out last week by Hannah, and so today I have to play Fall Guys with a controller upside down. We're giving up on looking. We're just going to go purely based off of feel and sensual touch. If I qualify for this, I'm going to go home and, and, and kiss my dog. Woo-hoo! Dude, I'm so good. I'm actually the best gamer of all time. Oh, no, 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 no. What the f- Tell me how this is possible! Oh, oh my- Uh, well guys, my, uh, my quality of life is at an all-time low, so if any of you know a good therapist, I'm in the market. But anyways, in order to get my give back, looking at you, Joel, I'm cooking up something real spicy for you, pal. Good luck. And I knew it. And yep, yep, no doubt in my mind that this guy was gonna- Fail on his face. That's why it's called Fall Guys, guys. It is very hard. It's... Mm. Hey, yo. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys. We're getting to our final segment, uh, and it is the G Fuel tasting. Let's go, bro. I'm Ooh, pumped. I'm I not, am so pumped. I'm not pumped at all. Unless G Fuel wants to sponsor us, then I am pumped. Please. It'd be great. I yeah. paid so much for these. These are warm, by the way. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> boy. Not even... Oh, snaps. All right. For the first okay. one, we're going to try we're is... gonna We're going to try from, from... Right side over here. Right side. Okay. All right, so we're gonna try the Naruto Sage Mode. Say that one more time. Do you say n- 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 Naruto? How do you, you Naruto. say Naruto? Naruto. I say Naruto. Okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, he gets laid. Uh, anyway, the Naruto I'm getting married, guys. <laughs> Shippuden. Shippuden. Okay, Shippuden. I, you read this fucking shit. It's <laughs> Naruto or Naruto. 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 <laughs> Shippuden. Okay, so yeah, like. 
If you don't watch the anime, like this is Naruto in his sage mode. So this is the sage fuel energy drink or sage mode energy drink. Pretty sweet. I don't even, I have no idea. It's limited edition. So like, did it come out like what in the last two years? I don't know. I'm not sure. I just went to Micro Center and just bought every G Fuel they wow, have. So that's new. What is in this though? Dude? I have no idea what flavor it is. Like, like are we going to taste Naruto <laughs> right now? We're going to taste Naruto, bro. We're going to try right. all these for you. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, this is Sage Mode. Bottoms up. I drank it so quick that I didn't taste it. Drank no, the whole thing? Pretty good. It's very like light. Uh, it's very. It tastes like berries. A little bit. It's like a. It tastes a little bit like um, like uh, the streets of Shinjuku. I, I can't <laughs> with this guy. Get me someone else, please, producer. Do your job. It uh, it tastes it tastes like an anime opening. It's not bad. It's like the grimace shake. All right, so we'll, a, we'll yeah. put this down here for number one so far because mm -hmm. it's the only one. Yes. All right, trying next. We got PewDiePie, bro. Let's go. The Wait, I didn't know PewDiePie had a flavor. Yeah. Wait, if PewDiePie can have a flavor, H and G can have a flavor. That's right, PewDiePie, bro. Hit us up. We'll do a uh, <laughs> interview with you, Mr. Goofy. All right, here we go. Let's try it out. PewDiePie. No idea what's in this. He lives in Japan now, so I think it should also taste a little bit like anime. So. You we'll, an anime. Ooh, this one's this one's very fizzy. Bottoms up. Oh, God. Oh. I was wrong. Why does it taste less sweet than the first? It tastes just like the first one, but less sweet. Yeah, it's a cherry, it's a cherry, cherry drink. Cherry okay. drink. Can I get a little bit more? Let me see. I have to, I have to really taste it. Just a little bit. Maybe we need ice. Damn, that was too much. You have to drink it now. I like it better. Okay, yeah, I do Proof like it wrong. better. No, I do okay, like it. Okay. I like it better. Right. Not in a bad way. I'm just saying. No. It's still not great. No. It's not fantastic. I wouldn't buy this over uh, like anything else, really. I prefer Monster Mountain Dew Code or... Red for sure over this. So good. Listen, guys, I've been going no soda for a long time. This is kind of soda, but whatever. Uh, I've been going no soda for a long time, and I ain't going to lie to you. Yesterday, I got a Mountain Dew Code Red. I was in the store. Uh... I couldn't help myself, bro. It was like a freaking you know venom coming out of me. I was like, I need it. Yeah, L, need it. L in the chat for... Uh, yes, uh, L. For Joel breaking his soda streak. Hey, man, I'm trying to be skinny. It's just hard. All right, we got the next one. Hype sauce. <laughs> Yo, Hype sauce. Hypes. Uh, I have no idea what this will taste like at it, all. It feels like it's going to taste like cotton candy. Oh, maybe. Think, maybe. It, is know, it a it cotton candy kind of? It just doesn't say. It says energy plus focus. Energy plus focus. Oh, so it's going to taste like success. Got it. Never knew what that tastes like. Mm -mm. Not before this. Please Not hit the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, dude. Cheers, mate. Here we go, boys. Bottoms up. What is that? What is that? That was that was bad. Hype sauce. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, bro. Dude, if success tastes like that, I don't want to be if successful. This, if this just poured out, what? it would be okay. It would be fine. You know what I mean? Like it's it's okay if this one spilled. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we still think PewDiePie is winning. Congrats, PewDiePie. Yes. Uh, but now, my favorite the, fruit in the world. This is the one I was most excited about. Watermelon. I love watermelon flavored drinks now, and candy. This is watermelon limeade. Ooh. That's this actually. looks kind of nuts. That sounds actually really good. Kind of scary. This one might be number one for me. I'm calling it now. Okay, you're calling it? Is this a prediction? Yeah, this is my prediction. All right, my prediction, I think it's going to taste like ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know you... those fake candies? Yeah. It's going to taste like that. I want it to taste like watermelon. Like aqua I bet fresca. I'm going to like this. Aqua fresca? Aqua fresca? Dude, oh I love it. God, aqua bro. Watermelon aqua fresca is the best aqua fresca. Oh, fresca. it does taste. Okay, it smells it's, a little. Dude, it smells like a fucking it smells... airhead. <laughs> so, or what are those called? Those, uh, the sour ones? So, uh, sour Patch Kids or whatever? Sourheads. Sourheads, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We actually might have a heart. This one's not bad. The aftertaste is better. It's way better. It's uh, it's way better. Like you 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 taste the initially it was a little funky, and I, honestly I think it's because the our smell. Our, we haven't been washing our cups, so I, I think it's part a of the hype sauce with our water. <laughs> Bro, it ain't bad. But I, I I do like the the aftertaste. I like it. I like it better. I don't think I like it as much as uh. Duty pie? I th yeah, I think it's better than sage. Though. It, it is better than sage. Let's go. Number Way two. Watermelon, such a good fruit. Shout out to you, watermelon. Keeping it real. 
Oh, bro. Speaking of gaming, we got Crash Bandicoot. Ooh, the first gamer. Four. Uh, we got the Wampa Fruit. Wampa Fruit. Dude, Wampa Fruit. I, dude, I used to collect those all the time in uh, Crash Bandicoot 1. So, were you a Crash player or were you a the guy from Xbox? What's his name? Buzz, Buzz. Oh, Banjo Kazooie? Banjo. No, I was definitely a Crash Crash player. I was a PlayStation kid growing up. Dude, when you turn on the Sony PS1, bro. It's such a nostalgia hit. I, I still have uh, I have my PS4 here actually in the studio. And I have like the old PlayStation 1 theme on it. The theme. Yeah, so when it, so when, it, when, it, when it turns on, it has like the old theme song, and I, I love it. You remember oh. when they announced the PlayStation 1 theme? Like, like theme PlayStation theme 4? PS4. Dude. That's it what, went so quick. That's bro. when I that's when I got my PS4 and I wanted that one. Yeah. But instead they sold out and I was so impatient. So I just got the regular PS4. I hope that they do like do that again. They have uh, to, bro. They have to. Like the, the color scheme is just so iconic. I love the old gray looking. It's sick. It is sick. It's, it's like a matte, not matte gray, but kind of. Like it's almost like a, a met like um, metallic gray. Almost. I'm thinking of armored core. Like those yeah. those like Metal Gear solid color. I don't know. Nostalgia, nostalgia does hit pretty hard. All right, so this is Crash Bandicoot. No idea what it's going to taste like. It Probably smells, apples. It something. smells like farts. I got a lot in that one. Awesome. That's really good. That is good. That is really good. Dang. Bro, that tastes like a juice. Yeah, it did taste like, like juice. like a light juice. It was good. I can chug this. Uh, th this is one for sure. That's a hundred percent. This is number Sorry, one. Pie, you yeah. are dethroned. Uh, number one, Crash Bandicoot. I think it's just called Crash Bandicoot for. Is it it's the Wampa Fruit? Right? Yeah, Crash Bandicoot uh, Wampa Fruit Energy Drink. Wampa so. Fruit. There you go. All Get right. Here. I played this game for like ten minutes. I uh, love that game. It's Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy. Dude, I played so much. It was like the first PC game I ever got, and I. I I I beat like the, all the levels. It's it's so much fun. So it's called Blood, Sweat, and Tears because <laughs> you die like every ten seconds, right? He's in also made out of meat, so he's like a he's like, in, like the grinder. Yeah, so like uh, in some of the levels, you're like you have to like avoid like these like giant saws. I ain't gonna lie, I taste some of it, and it tastes pretty good. Ooh, or my finger it. tastes good. You know what I mean, hey baby. <laughs> oh, this is like a cinnamon. Not a big fan. Oh of my god! Yeah, never not a not a thumb. not a big that fun. Was my thumb. That was my thumb. <laughs> big fan of cinnamon. Oh my god! I thought I thought there was like a chunk in it. Oh god, no! It's like you're drinking a red hot. No, yeah, that's bad. No, that is that is last place for whatever. I don't care what these taste like, but this last one, the Super Meat Boy is definitely last place. All right, moving Very on. Later. We got the sour sour chug rug. Not chug jug. Not not chug, chug rub. Not chub rub. It's not chub rub. Chug rug. No, but not a chub. A chub. You get a little oh. chub. You get a little chub. You rub a dub dub <laughs> in the tub. Let's try it out. Dude, you're Here's. about to get cinnamon sour. Not bad. I don't know what. It's not sour. It's it doesn't taste like anything. It's not sour. It doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't. It, it doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> Are you saying this it guy tastes is like G fuel before <laughs> it adds the flavor? It tastes like just sparkling <laughs> soda water. I do have a question. Is there actually just a thing out there like Monster called G fuel without a flavor? That would suck. No, it would have to be like you know what I mean? Like there's rock stuff. I think I think I think like Monster. this watermelon one, for example, there's might be Red an original. Bull. I'm just keeping going with the bit. I guess so, yeah. What 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 flavor would you say Red Bull is? Laser. Tastes laser. like a laser. It tastes like a laser you ever beam. Seen Malibu's most wanted. No. <laughs> like this tastes like a laser beam. <laughs> <laughs> well, this tastes like crap. Is it better? Is it better than Naruto? Yeah, because the berries weren't great. You know, like I wouldn't drink that. Shit. It's definitely third to last. Uh, anyway, moving on to one of the coolest, oldest games in the world. Never mind. I, this, I thought that was Tetris. Pac-Man, which oh. is which is old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, old I, was, I was like, I was like, oh, I was riding with it. This one's called Power Pellet. Cherry lollipop. I'm also like already like feeling a little. little I can't breathe. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I didn't even pour it yet. Oh, gotcha. I yeah, I'm I'm already like hyped up. This is way too many energy drinks, guys. Pac Man. Not oh. That one has flavor. That one's good. That one's good. I'd say it's the same as PewDiePie. Maybe even better. Does it taste the same though? Okay. Yeah, they're both cherry. They're both cherry. Let me do it. You don't need this. I don't need that. No, it's this one. There's so many. Yeah. 
It's another cherry drink. That's so weird, though. Well, I guess, of, of course, it would be cherry because of, like, the Pac-Man cherry. Same shit. Oh, my God. Did, did we just, did we just uh, expose? <laughs> did we just expose G Fuel? They're just recanning. PewDiePie got fucked. Yeah. <laughs> they literally just recanned. Uh, the Pac-Man G Fuel for the PewDiePie one. So it, it makes no sense. I mean, it could be different, but I mean, when you say different, you know, that's like when you look at a white guy and another white guy. No. Different. Well, one's, from, <laughs> one's from California, one's from New York. You, what's the difference? Still douchebags. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Another oldie and a classic. Tetris. Mm -hmm. Let's try it out. It's called Tetris Blast. I have th that one. I, like, n no idea what the flavor is going to be at all. Like, what, what flavor is Tetris? Does it taste like the 80s? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Whoa. That's a kick at the end. That is a... That's a weird... That tastes like plastic. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes like synthetic flavors. It's like a high score. Um, no. <laughs> No, um, I I don't like it, but I also don't hate it. Hate it. Because it's still in my mouth. And it ain't bad. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's like... It's very synthetic, though. I think it's better than the regular G Fuel. The Rug Tug. The Rub Tub. The Rug Tug. Sorry, buddy. Your flavor is boring. <laughs> yeah. All right, speaking of plastic games, one more. This is the last one. This is the last exactly. Thank God. This is the last G Fuel. I can't breathe. Um, and it's Sonic. It's called Peach Ring. Dude, this might be good. Oh, I, okay. You don't like Peach? I love live Peach. In Georgia. What the fuck? I love Peach. I love Peach. That's kind of the reason why I came to Georgia. Can you do the, can you do the theme song? <laughs> it just starts going crazy. Dude, that needs to be like... <laughs> It needs to cut from like us being like, we're about to drink a bunch of G Fuel to like... <laughs> like the after... <laughs> can, can, uh, can the editor just kind of like glow us up like we just got like the... <laughs> like the star from Mario. I'm sweating my ass off. All right. What, what do you uh, need? Oh, cuppy, cuppy. Cup. All right. Last one, boys. Peach rings. Uh, our O-rings are about to feel something. Here we go. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Mm. It's my favorite. Oh, my God. It's my favorite. Oh, my God. I want more. Oh, my God. That was good. That was good. It's amazing. Okay, I kind of want to try... I need to try the Crash Bandicoot one. We need to, we need to duel them out. Yeah. I like... I like... Um, I like Sonic. For then, real? Yeah, then then um Crashy. Crash. All right, Crash versus Sonic. Let's go. No, I think the Crash Bandicoot one is really good, but this one Sonic, this one's bro. Sonic one is definitely the best. It's so good. It's also the one I've seen the most. Yeah. Like every time I go to every time I go to Micro Center, I always see the Sonic one. That's the one that always like catches my eye. So this could be the best seller. It's the goat. It's yeah. the goat. Uh also we it's so we good. know that there's so many different flavors, guys. Mm -hmm. But this is our ranking one through uh ten. And of course, you know, we think Pac Man and PewDiePie got robbed. Yeah. We think PewDiePie got robbed. Right. By Pac Man. Or PewDiePie Gobble has up. that much money and bought Pac Man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. But they're the same flavor. They taste exactly the same. But anyway, this is our ranking, guys. But we know that there's so many G Fuel flavors out there. <laughs> you ruined my tank! <laughs> <laughs> but we know that there are so many different G Fuel flavors out there. So please leave a comment of what your favorite flavor is. Also, if you do want to try the cinnamon one, I think it is goofy to buy one time and try yeah. it because holy hell, that's it's the stupid. worst. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of cinnamon energy drink. That's no. Yeah. That's gross. It's weird. Bro. <laughs> it's weird, it's, man. But uh, weird. this was super fun, man. It was. And it we're going to be doing more of these kind of segmented mm -hmm. uh, goofy dum dum rankings. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching the podcast. <laughs> I just I'm burping so much. We're we're we're, we're torturing ourselves for your entertainment. So yes. please, if you like this and want to see more, hit that like and subscribe button. Comment what your favorite G Fuel flavor is and explain why it's the Sonic one. So if you haven't, if you don't remember, mm -hmm. make sure you tell us what the game is that you love to hate and also the 
uh, your favorite G Fuel flavor. Mm -hmm. And uh, let us know down in the comments what we should try next. I'm always trying to do these goofy, dumb, dumb things. Mm -hmm. And uh, just let me know what we should try yeah, next. Yeah, like what, the what's, the, what's, the, what's the gamer like? Like, I think we should probably try G Fuel like powder. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, but just the powder. Just the powder. <laughs> And then, and then we can like like mix our own powders to make our own. We do G need. Fuel. We do need our own. G fuel. Wouldn't that be funny if we like designed our own can and everything? We just said like, it's okay because PewDiePie did it, so we could just do the same thing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> easy. Let, uh, let's grab the Sonic one and yeah. make that the. It's 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 almost there with the colors. So H and G Georgia peaches. Oh, that's perfect. It's that's perfect. perfect. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like you said, please hit the like and subscribe. If you have not already, please join the Discord. If you want news quick and easy, definitely check out our Wednesday H&G news videos. They're awesome. Brandon mm -hmm. uh, edits them, and he also does the script, and he it's, kills It's them. very on brand. We're very quick and easy. Five-second rule. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, be here next week for another podcast.